What's going on everybody? March 20th, 2024. Well, I didn't get a video out yesterday. On, a, on Sometimes on the rare occasion, me, the wife and I decided uh, to go out and have uh, a little bit of fun. Go out and have dinner. Well, more of like a late lunch, early dinner in Orlando. Then we hopped over to the parks, Universal Studios. It was super busy for a Monday. But uh, I'm thinking there's some kind of event going on. But anyway, we went on like one ride and just walked around, looked at some of the, the souvenirs and got some really good food, some churros and pretzels and all that kind of fun stuff. But we stuck around for a little bit and came home. And uh, yeah, and then this morning I had planned to go to Turkey Creek, but uh, unfortunately I forgot that I got to take my son to a dental appointment. So did that, spent the morning sitting in the dentist's office for him to get his teeth cleaned. And now that I'm back home, I need to go get out on the water. And I've only got about two hours, so I'm gonna run over to Canaveral National Seashores area. Maybe we'll find some new spots. There's a bunch of little creeks and stuff that I wanna try. I'm not really sure where we're gonna go fish today, but like I said, I only have about an hour or two. So I just brought the two rods, my popping cork set up, and my bait caster set up and we're just gonna work work some shrimp. That's gonna be the goal today, see what's biting. Um, the temperatures have been crazy cold. Um, I'm not sure what happened. We had what, uh, if you watched a couple days ago, we had like mid 80s weather. And then the last two days, including this morning, I woke up and it was 45 degrees. I'm not sure what happened. I think we spring too far forward back into winter or something. But anyway, I'm sure the cold's going to affect the fish a little bit. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. The The reason why I figured I'll fish Canaveral National Seashores is I I want to load up on some bait, some mullet. And uh, if we can find some and cast it, I'm sure. But like I said, I kind of ran out of time to do so. So what I'm thinking is we will pick up some bait and mullet on our way back. And my goal is to fish Turkey Creek uh, tomorrow. I wanted to throw out some some uh, live mullet. I think that might might do the trick and get more bites, so. But if they don't have any of that, maybe we'll do some live shrimp. I'm not too sure. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go get over there and uh, see what we can get into in just an hour. But um, it's just gonna feel good to get some exercise in, some walking, some fresh air. Maybe we'll see some wildlife. So, catch you over there. I haven't really tried this spot. It's pretty shallow, but you know what? I'm thinking with it being as cold as it is, maybe they're in the shallows warming up. Dude, I just launched off my... How does that even happen? What the? Wow. Never had that happen before. What the heck is that thing? Ocean Explorer. That's very cool. I got like a weird thing in my line here. 
we'll give it this drift and then work the paddle tail and then move on. Like I said, I only got like an hour, hour and a half right now. So just try a few spots. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day. Yay, we beat the skunk. You really ate that sucker, didn't you? Give it back. There we go. Got something right underneath that log right there. Beautiful trout. <clears throat> Look at that beauty. That's what I'm talking about. Hook out. Got that trout on the salt strong. Relax. The salt strong shrimp. Let's get a weight on this bad boy. Or I mean a measurement. Twenty. Twenty inch trout. Let's get a picture and then off he goes. Alright, buddy, let's get you back. Thank you. Super cool. Let's get another one. until I ran into a puffer. Man, those guys just tear through your plastics. I'm running out, I'm gonna have to order more now. Got two left. Oy. I guess that's a good sign that they're working. What is this one anyway? The natural 3.5 inch. When it's cold like this, I have a lot better luck with working it really slow. So, with this type of setup, it's weedless. So, when you have those mistakes, it's a little bit less likely that you're gonna lose your gear. It still can happen, don't get me wrong. What you wanna do is screw it onto this screw. And then this area right here where you have the little opening right here, you want that to set the hook. See how the hook sits in there? What I do is I put it in there and then I bend it forward, pop that hook through right there. Now what you're gonna do is slide it up, see that? A little bit weedless, but then when you set the hook, you, you gotta really set the hook, it'll pop out. All right, let's see if we can't scrounge this up something here. That big one cast right in that log, and as soon as it hit the water, he hit it. Sometimes I like to let it just flutter in the current. We're gonna have to get going here soon, though.
Oh, there's a hit. It better not be another puffer. If he just ate that thing in half already, I'm gonna be so... Now, like I said though, with, it, with this type of weedless setup, when you feel a little nibble, you need to set that hook. Because if they just bite it lightly, you're gonna miss them. I was hoping we can get ourselves a redfish, but not only do you have the logs in there, but you also have the trees overhanging, which makes it really hard to try and get a cast in there. And I'm not good enough to do it yet. Thinking that's a manatee? Something big swimming right through here. Oh, he's doing a flip right here. I don't think you guys can see that, but there is a manatee that's just doing somersaults. <laughs> right here. You can come say hi. Guess not, I think he's moving on now. He is coming over here. Well, aren't you just Mr. Little Friendly? You know, technically speaking, I'm not supposed to pet you. But I have a feeling somebody's been petting you. Yeah, I saw you doing somersaults. Scare the fish this way, buddy. Oh, right at the water. has warmed up started off at like 45 now we're at 75 shed as many layers as I could well I couldn't just fish for an hour so I ended up fishing for about hour and a half hour 45 started off with the popping cork got one small one but the water was really um, kind of murky and dirty so I figured they probably couldn't see it plus it's colder so I figured we would go with like, a, I went with the weedless shrimp by a salt straw. And I, I used that to, to work it a lot slower. And that was the ticket. Turned around catching some decent uh, trout after that. The biggest being um, 20 inches, this one right here. So that was cool. So overall for an hour and a half of fishing, win, you know what I mean? So. Uh, I, I decided, I, like I said, I plan to go to Turkey Creek tomorrow with some live mullet, but everybody's out of mullet. I just checked three different bait shops, no one's got live mullet. They, they got orders in and there's guys looking for them, but uh, they're saying it's too windy or this and that. And I mean, I can't say I don't blame them because I, I, mean, I tried to save some money and go cast net and catch my own mullet too, but I, I, I think I found one group of like six of them. So, I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. I don't know if, I, 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 I kind of have a plan already set in motion of what I want to do next time I go to Turkey Creek. So, without the bait, I could still, or maybe I'll try and do something a little different. I know what I haven't done in a while is just the kind of fishing that I, I used to do a lot the first year I came out here and the type of fishing I really enjoy, and that's just casting the bait out and sitting. So. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow and uh, maybe scout and look for some, some mullet for Friday and then do Turkey Creek Friday. You know, I, plus there's a storm coming in tomorrow, so I'm not too sure what to do. Uh, all right, well, 
just stay tuned tomorrow. I'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely go out and do something tomorrow. I just don't know what it will be. So, eh. Everybody, I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget, smash that thumbs up button. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Tight lines. Peace.